Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about that how to monitor Windows machines with Nachos for free. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, I'm using Ubuntu. And in my Ubuntu, I have already configured my Nagios core. And to monitor my Windows machines, I have to use Nagios Client++. Only then, I'll be able to establish a connection between my Ubuntu and the machines that I want to monitor. So first of all, we need to copy this particular IP address. So I'll just copy this IP address from here. And now I'll head to my Windows operating system that I have installed and that I want to monitor. This is my Windows operating system and in that, first of all, I need to download NS Client++. So I'm on to the official website of NS Client and from here, in order to download NS Client++, here we have different options. I'll download the latest version, so just click on it. And after that, here we have different version. So I'll download it for my Windows operating system. I have already done that. As you can see down here, we have a message as .msi finished downloading. So it means we are ready to install this one. So I'll just click on this run button and I'll install Natios Client++ in my Windows operating system. From here, just click on next, click on generic and click on next. Do not worry. Leave everything as it is. Go with typical option. And here we need to paste the IP address that we copied earlier. So this is our IP address and here we do not need to have a password. So what I'll do, I'll just remove everything from here. I'll enable NS client server and after that we need to disable our NRPE server check. Now we need to just click on next as we are done with everything and we just need to click on install button and just wait for the process to get complete. After we are done with this one we'll move ahead. We are done here with the installation and I'll just click on finish and now we need to configure our NS client plus plus. So for that purpose I'll go to the location or directory where we have our NS client plus plus. I'll go to my this PC, C directory, then program files, then NS client plus plus. From here, look for the file that says NS client. Here it is. And here we need to open this file into notepad plus plus or notepad and make sure to open your notepad as an administrator. So first of all, let's search for notepad and I'll open that one as an administrator. Let me open this one. I'll copy everything. I'll close this one. And I'll go to the notepad instance that I have opened as an administrator. And in this file, we have to change some of the things. Either you can change these disabled with enabled or you can change all of them with one. I'll change all of them with one. So let me do that for all of them. And then we'll move ahead. And at the end, we need to cut this line that says NS client server equals to enabled. I'll just cut this one and I'll paste it in here. And now we need to save this file. So I'll click on this file. I'll click on save as I'll go to the directory where I have my NS client plus plus installed. So I'll go to my C directory program files here. I have NS client plus plus and here we'll go with all files and I'll replace it with the files of NS client plus plus, which is this one. I'll just click on save. I'll replace it and we are good to go. Now I'll just close this file. I'll close my files explorer and now we need to open our services. So I'll just search for services in my Windows operating system. Here it is. I'll just open that one. And from here, we need to restart our NS client service. So from here, I'll look for NS client. I'll press N and here it is. I'll just right click on it. And from here, I'll click on restart. It will restart our NS client plus plus service. And now we are good to go. We are done with everything that was needed to be done on our Windows operating system with respect to our NS client. And at the end, we just need to check our host name. So for that purpose, I'll write here command prompt. I'll just open that one. And now let's check the host name what it is. So I'll write here host name, hit enter. So this is my host name and we need this host name in our Nagios server. Now in our Ubuntu, we need to open our terminal. So I'll just press control alt T and here we need to go to a directory for the configuration. So for that, I'll write here CD space slash user slash local slash Nagio slash etsy folder hit enter and if i write here ls here you see we have different files available 
we need to configure our nagios.cfg file so for that i'll write here sudo space nano space nagios.cfg hit enter i'll give it my password and again hit enter and from here look for the line that ends with windows.cfg and at the moment this line is a comment we need to uncomment this line here it is and now we are good to go now we just need to get out of this i'll press ctrl x i'll press y and i'll hit enter let me clear my terminal again i'll write here ls and this time we need to go to our object so i'll write here cd objects hit enter and if i ls here here we have different files and this time we need to configure our windows.cfg file so again i'll write here sudo space nano space windows.cfg hit enter and again i'll scroll down and in this particular file we need to make the changes or you can say we need to configure it for our windows operating system make sure you have the exact host name that you had in your windows and that was win server in my case and here i have the ip address of my windows operating system as 192.168.209.135 in your case it will be different surely and we are good to go with this file as well so i'll press ctrl x i'll press y to save the changes and i'll hit enter and now here we need to restart our nagios service so for that purpose i'll write here sudo system ctl space restart space nagios dot service and hit enter we have successfully restarted our service now i'll head to my web browser and here i have nagios core and I'll refresh it and here you can see that service is up and running with this process ID. Now let's go to our host and let's see if we have windows available in here or not. Here you can see we have windows available and from here it will take around 10 to 15 minutes to make the connection and your status will be up and you can access your services and then you will be able to monitor your windows machine with the help of your Nagios for free. So let it wait for 10 to 15 minutes so that it can make a connection and you are good to go and that brings me to the end of today's video i hope now that you must have liked watching this one and if that is the case please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon i'll get back to you as soon as possible till the next video take care